If you are getting this error when you are searching for extensions, let's see three methods that can help you fix this error. The first and the most common mistake when we are getting this error is due to proxy. So go to your settings and click on settings. And inside your applications, click on proxy. If VS Code has changed and the settings are not here anymore, you can search for proxy here. And you will get, get these proxy options. Now I have this set to override. All right. Now, when I'm getting this error, what can be the case is there might be an issue with your proxy or you might be using the wrong proxy or you might not be using the proxy. So some of these options can search for, work for you. So if I set it to off and now if I search for put here, let me search again. So I'm getting this error. So what I can do is I can set it to fall back and now again, I'll search for put here. as you can see my extensions are working with this fallback setting the default is override but for me it is working with fallback you can also try with on and whatever else you have here now this depends on a lot of other factors like you have vpn or not how is your windows configured based on that your vs code might need to change these settings all right and if one of these works for you it's all good but if it does not work for you, you probably need to flush DNS. So press your Windows key and type CMD and type IP config slash flush DNS. Now this will flush the DNS. And now what you can do is you can search for your code again, or your extension again, and it will be working. If this does not work, you might need to change your DNS itself. So this is the command. So I'll enter this command but this command needs administrator privileges right so i am setting the dns to 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 that is google's dns because sometimes this might not work, work because of your internet provider's dns so if i hit enter as you can see it will show me the message that requested operation request elevation that means i need to type cmd and run it as administrator copy this command from the description below so now i've changed the dns to 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8. Now, if I search for prettier again, uh, let me search for Martel. So as you can see, it is working with this DNS, that is Google's DNS. Now, the final and the most uh, difficult, not difficult, let's say, that requires you to make most change is to delete the cache. So now we will see how we can delete VS Code cache. So in your Windows, first go to your C drive, users, and your current user, scroll down, You'll see this app data that will be hidden so if you don't see app data that means that's because this is a hidden folder you need to click on view go to show and click on hidden items and your hidden items will be shown inside app data go to roaming and search for code inside code there is cache cache data cache configuration and all this stuff so what you can do is let's go to cache and here delete the cache now be careful first i would suggest you to make a copy of this like this and cache copy is created because it might break some things. After deleting cache, restart your VS Code and if extensions work, it's all good. But even if it does not work after deleting cache, you might have to reinstall VS Code itself. So I hope one of these methods help for you. If you have any other questions, let me know in the comments below.